Zyber VR makes various VR accessories for the MetaQuest 3, the Quest 2, and a couple of other VR headsets. Today we're going to be taking a look at their Elite Strap, which is on my face. We have their neck power bank, and we have three-in-one controller sticks behind me, these little ones. Uh, and yeah, so uh, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to remove this. Um, and right off the bat, beginning of the video, mark on the face. Lovely, probably. Uh, so I did receive these uh, products for review from Zyber VR, and uh, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not under contract or anything, so there's no obligations to say anything good or bad. I do have an affiliate link if you do want to support me. That would be wonderful. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let, we're just going to get right into it. So I'm going to be reviewing in this video three different things. Again, the Elite Strap, uh, the Power Bank, and the Wands. So we're going to start our review with the Elite Strap. Now, I have an installation video. If you want to see that, that's uh, in links down below. I did a little unboxing for this, and I have the installation there if you're curious about any of the packaging. Uh, but out of the box, this is what it's going to look like. And you have a little bit of functionality here just to show you it. Of course, these arms, they just move as they do with the, uh, the Quest 3, the top strap. You're wondering, why is this so large? It's a giant pillow. It's, it's so comfortable. It's just like, it's just a thick cushion of memory foam or just foam. Um, that's really nice. And then the back, uh, it's not as cushiony as, say, the Bobo VR uh, M3 but it, it's still nice. It cups your head very well, and it's kind of a rubberized material. Uh, so I, as I get started, I'm just going to say right off the bat, it is more comfortable. I find it more comfortable than my Bobo VR M3. This is my Bobo VR M3. The Zyber VR Elite Strap, I find more comfortable. And this is partly due to the better head strap. It's nicer up here. Uh, it, it does cup your face better uh, because you are now forced to use your facial gasket. You can't use it uh, Quest Pro style like the M3. You could use that Quest Pro style. Uh, so, so you have to use the facial interface and I think that obviously helps keep things supported. But the back strap as well, it cups the back of my head, my head shape nicely and it feels really nice. It is more stable than my Bobo VR M3. I'm bringing up the M3 a lot because it's all I really have to compare to. I haven't tried too many other head straps, but I'm trying to give you a little bit of something. So it is not as wobbly when it's on and tightened. It, it might, you know, it might move a little bit still, but it's actually really nice uh, compared to the Bobo VR M3. So much better there. Again, you're not able to use it Quest Pro style, so if you want a headset uh, for that option, that capability, without using the facial, facial gasket here, um, the M3 is going to be your choice there. But Zyber VR, honestly, if, if, you, if you want that isolation, you're playing in VR a lot, the, the Zyber VR head strap, I like it a lot. So the one I received, it does not have a battery pack as an option. Uh, this one here, you could actually upgrade it. So if you do buy just the Elite strap to begin with, you could just remove the uh, the little back piece here, and the battery pack actually replaces that. Uh, so you could buy that separately. Uh, again, if you want to see installations or you want to know... <laughs> the back just completely came off because I'm messing with it. If you want to know any more about the, uh, the Elite Strap, uh, I have a little bit of an un unboxing video, so check that out. I'll leave links in the description down below. All right, so we're going to move on to the Zyber VR neck power bank. And as you can see, this easily goes around the neck. It's, it's very nice. Now, this neck power bank, it has a single battery on the side here that you can pop out if I do it right. There we go. So you could pop this out. Is that the right size? Yeah. Uh, the right side, so you could read it, maybe. Um, anyway, it's a 5,000 uh, milliamp hour battery. I don't know much about batteries, so I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, really. But it's it's 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it's roughly the same size as most other battery packs. Uh, to give you a, a quick example, the 
Bobo VR M3 uh, battery pack that it comes with. It's a 5200 milliamp hour battery. So, so very close there. These things are hot swappable, easy to get in and out. Now, something, see, <laughs> very easy. Uh, once you learn how to do it, something about this that is different than the M3 uh, Bobo VR battery is that the Zyber neck power pack, it actually charges the Quest 3. So that's a thing. So if you plug this in, you're actually going to get a bit of a charge. Uh, at least I did when I was playing games. I noticed a couple of percentage increase as I was playing. So it's, uh, again, I don't know battery information. I, 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 so someone who's smarter than me, please leave a comment. But this is able to uh, charge up the headset uh, while you're playing games a little bit. So that's nice. Now, yeah, it does have a input here. We'll just go through that. There's a little input on the bottom that's to charge it. And then on the top here, that's going to be your little output for going to, if I could get that in there, going to your headset. Now they give you this pretty short cable, right? And that's perfectly, you know, length, uh, a perfect length to just uh, pop on the side here. If I could wiggle it in there, boom. And, you know, you could look around just fine. It's, it's easy. It, you know, you may need to adjust it somehow to maybe not hit the side of your face or whatever. Um, but that's that. You could adjust the cable as needed uh, to make it more comfortable for you. So one thing I do want to mention really quick about this battery is if you get the neck strap, it's great. Okay, here's why. Because it takes the weight off of the headset itself. And this is important to me because I have a bit of neck issues and it's, it, it gives me more time in VR before I start feeling that fatigue. And that's nice, okay? But there are some downfalls to this as well. A any headset with a battery on the back is going to give you a counterweight. So that counterweight helps balance the headset and that makes things more comfortable as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. Again, you could try this out first. If you like this iteration, you could add the one with the battery if you feel like you need a, a counterweight and you don't want a neck strap uh, battery pack. So it's a very simple design as the charge port, power port, uh, battery is removable, hot swappable. Uh, you could throw on another one and keep gaming. Uh, so that's really nice. And there's little battery light indicators right there that will tell you how much battery you have left. So very nice uh, design there. And again, affiliate links down below. I, if you want a battery that goes around your neck and you don't want that weight on your head, this is really nice. Uh, it actually gives you a nice charge on the Quest 3. Uh, so it may be annoying if you are moving around a bit, I will say that. Uh, uh, so keep that in mind. Because if you're playing Beat Saber, if you're bending down, you know, picking things up off of the ground in games a lot, or whatever games you're playing, if you're moving a lot, uh, this is just resting around your neck. It's not secure. Um, you certainly don't want to strangle it around your neck uh, and, and tighten it there, but keep that in mind. This is the Zyber VR 3-in-1 controller sticks. Now, in this mode here, this is kind of the single-handed mode. We're just going to go through all modes really quick. Uh, this mode would obviously be good for maybe walkabout mini golf or any golf game, something like that. Perhaps if you're batting or something, it could be good. You could get creative with it, right? Uh, so you, they just unscrew here, not this side, actually. I want this side. So you just unscrew them here and you could go into dual stick mode like this. And I shouldn't have unscrewed this one first, but we're going to screw this long or middle one back in and unscrew that and screw this one back on here. And this is your kind of kayaking mode where, uh, yeah, you could you could kayak or, or maybe uh, Darth Maul mode in Beat Saber, right? You, can, you kind of have that baton uh, thing going on. So you have a lot of different modes that you could use. And uh, yeah, ping pong, you could play all kinds of things. Uh, or even in Beat Saber in this mode is really fun too. It adds that extra weight at the end of the controller and it feels just overall better flowing as you're going through and hitting the notes. It feels like you're actually holding something, right? Uh, a saber in your hand, <laughs> perhaps. 
so it's more immersive, honestly. Kayaking, obviously, is much more immersive with the, uh, the dual setup as you're kayaking, right? You're rowing. Uh, so, again, it's easy to install. I'll show you really quick. This is it already installed. There's this little button on the side. We're going to uninstall it first. So you just press that button, and then you remove this little housing here. It just pops off. So to install it, it's just the reverse. You just pop on the housing. It just slips on like that. This is the right controller, so I take the right side. It's blue. And then you just, you just line it up on that side there, and it snaps in. So it's really easy to, to install a controller and remove them. Uh, they're great. They're honestly great. Uh, so the weight of them felt gr great. They're more immersive. And, uh, and, and yeah, there, there is a downside, though. So with these little plastic housings, they do have little holes in them uh, for maybe the tracking sensors there. I don't, I don't know where the tracking sensors exactly are with these controllers, but sometimes there's a little bit of occlusion and you do uh, lose tracking occasionally, okay? Uh, so, so somehow, yeah, that kind of blocks, blocks the tracking. So, uh, it, the Quest 3 does have, you know, the hybrid, hybrid tracking system, and sometimes it'll pick up your hand down here and not the controller. So it'll kind of move the controller in, you know, VR, mixed reality, whatever. It'll kind of move the controller down to where your hand is positioned because it sees your hand and it might not see the controller sensors in certain positions. So that's something just to note. So, uh, I, I personally think Zyber VR makes uh, solid accessories, to be honest. Uh, you know, their, their controller accessories could use some work with the, uh, the tracking, uh, perhaps. Or, you know, it could be maybe a Quest thing. Maybe a Quest update could, could better enhance their tracking system as well. Uh, who knows? So, uh, outside of that, their neck power pack is fantastic. It charges up the Quest 3 nicely and uh, it, it, you know, hops, hot swappable batteries, takes that weight off of your head, puts it around your neck. And honestly, it's, it's not heavy to me at all. It's this, it, I could wear this all day. It's, it's not an issue to me. And the Elite Strap for the Quest 3, this one doesn't have a battery on the back, but you can order a model with a Elite battery there from Zyber. Uh, so that will give you that counterweight balance and these are super comfortable. I like the elite strap from Zyber. It's really nice So, uh, if you do want to purchase any of these products, there's an affiliate link down below It, it really does help out my channel. I, I try to you know bring you something uh, as raw and <laughs> honest as I can be so if you like this if you like any of these products and you want to purchase any Consider using that affiliate link. It really does help me. I get a little bit of a kickback, a kickback and it does support me. So uh, thank you for that. And most of all, I'm curious what you think of these products uh, and, and what VR accessories. The main question here I want to ask you, what is your favorite VR accessory? I want to know that because <laughs> I, I, I need more accessories. Let me know what you enjoy the most uh, for your Quest 3 and, and how much it helps you uh, in and out of VR. So, anyway, I'll see you all later. Sub if you want to sub, like if you want to like. Uh, enjoy your day. Happy holidays to everybody. And, uh, yeah, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.